Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that screw strap exercise now with solids without surfaces. So let's have fun with Inventor. Let's start with a sketch on the XY plane. And that might look something like this. Add dimensions. This would be 30. This would be 42.5. That distance should be 14.5. That distance might be 29.9. Let's align this one and this dimension should be 82.5. Let's add two fillets with 15 radius here and there. Okay, now let's make an offset with that curve in that direction and that offset should be 7.5. Add two more lines over here and over there. Finish that sketch and make an extrude, make it symmetric and the distance might be 70 millimeter and OK. So that would be, let's say, my side view. Now go for another sketch on the top plane and that would be this one. And that might look something like this. And of course you would have to slice the graphics to see it or turn it by 180 degrees. So let's align that midpoint with this one and that midpoint also with this one or that one. Add dimensions. This should be 65 and this one should be 45 now i need to project some lines so therefore set it to construction go for project geometry i want to use this edge this one, this one, and that one. So if you take a look, they're all projected in on the back side. So let's go here and align. I will need fillets. Let's go for 10 millimeters at the moment here. Plus this should be, of course, not for construction. Then add another fillet here. And again, I forgot to switch back the 
like this. Now we'll go for a fillet here because I don't want to use that one. Is it already? Now it's okay. And over here. Okay. Now align the points with coincidence. So the end point of that arch should be here. The other end point should be there. Not possible. Interesting. Let's move this one over here. And of course it's not possible because 10 millimeter radius. So let's do it like this. That didn't quite work. So this point should be aligned with that one. And this point should be aligned with this one. Now let's delete those dimensions. And then I could align the other endpoints. So this endpoint should be right there. This endpoint here. That endpoint over here. And this endpoint over there. Let's align this point here and give it a total dimension of 82.5. Finish that sketch, make an extrude, make it a new body. This one, maybe 40. And OK. And this would be the top view. Let's do a combine. I want to intersect. And this should be the base, pole, base body. Go for intersect. Keep the tool body like this. And OK. Now another sketch on the XY plane. Here. I could hide that side view, but that sketch should look something like this. Make that line a center line. Add dimensions. This would be 40 diameter. That would be 65 diameter. This distance should be 7. And that distance would be 14.5. Now let's move those points together. Finish that sketch. Make a new body with a revolve. Go for 360 degrees and make it a new body. And confirm. And this would be the revolve. Next I will need a rectangle on the top plane. So go for a sketch on the what's the top plane? This one. Go for a rectangle. And this could be 40 by 12. I need to project a line into my sketch as reference. And that would be this edge. OK. Now put the center point of this line onto the center point of 
that projected line. Finish that sketch. Let's make another extrude with that sketch, yes, and make it a new body and OK. And call this one pocket. Now I want to intersect the pocket with that intersect, and that would be the side view in this case. And I want to keep that side view. So go for another combine, go for another intersect, and the base would be the pocket. I want to keep the tool body, and the tool body would be this one. And OK. And it's still there. OK. Now I want to move my pocket one millimeter up. So go for modify, move bodies in y direction, one millimeter. Let's combine this one, the revolve, with that one. So go for a combine, go for a union, a join, and I don't want to keep the tool body, so go for the base. Let's take this as base and that as tool, and OK. Now I can subtract this one from that one, so go for another combine, go for difference or cut, base would be this one, and I want to remove that one. OK. Nice. Now let's remove that face. So where is delete face? Select that face and of course heal the body. Confirm and it's gone. Now for my hole, I need a hole, a simple one, and it should be 13.5 deep and the diameter should be 38. That's OK. And I need to select the face and then go for that edge and it will be centered. And confirm. Now I can go for my fillets. So go for fillet. Let's start with 4 millimeter on this one and on the hidden one, this one. Apply. Then go for 4 millimeter on this one. Apply. Let's go for 4 millimeter here. Apply and maybe 6 millimeters here, but before that one, we have to fill it with 5 millimeter. This one, and you could add that one as well. Apply, and now go for 6 millimeters here. Apply, go for 5 millimeters here. Apply and this time four is not possible on this one, so it will go for three. But let's try four and see, maybe it works right now. No, so it will go for three millimeter, and that works. And okay, now let's go for shell. And I want to shell one millimeter. This should be removed, and that should be removed. And OK. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.